Yeah, hey Ernie, it's uh, Kevin. You still over there at uh, YPG? Uh, sure am. I want to try a little experiment with you, if you don't mind, for a minute. I want to drop my power down and see if you can still hear me. Well, go ahead. Okay, I've got the radio officially set to 0% power. 0% power, it's probably somewhere around 50 milliwatts. You copy? Yeah, I'm just on the uh, Slim Jim up on the side of the RV. So I'm doing a little experiment here, a curiosity really, and it's interesting. I've got the computer running WSJTX and it's doing Whisper, the uh, weak signal propagation reporter technology. But the uh, rub is, and if I uh, zoom in on the radio here, there we go. Zero percent power. I've got the radio set to zero, right? That should be no output. Well, I know something is leaking out, probably from the drivers through the finals. And sure enough, uh, so zero percent power. And uh, yet, well, if we go to the whisper map, eh, I'll put this up on your screen. You can see this is reception. This is uh, the stations I'm hearing. And that gives us a good benchmark for what propagation is like right now. But if we go and we look at transmission, is anybody hearing me with the radio set to 0% power? And yes, they are. Holy cow. I'll pull this up on your screen. And you can see that I'm actually getting picked up all the way out in Hawaii, way up there in Canada. Um, over to East Texas, almost Louisiana, and that's with the radio set to 0% power. So what's going on? How much power is the radio actually putting out? Well, let's find out. Let me get the oscilloscope and the dummy load out, and we'll do some measurements and a little calculation, and we'll see how much power is leaking out when your ICOM 705 is set to 0%. Now, I don't have uh, lab equipment that's capable of measuring power in the milliwatt range accurately, but I can get pretty close using my oscilloscope, a dummy load, my VNA, and Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law is the mathematical relationship between power in watts, volts, ohms, and amps. And using any two of these values, you can calculate the other two using one of these formulas. And what we're interested in here is calculating power. So if I have a dummy load and an oscilloscope, and I know the exact resistance or impedance of that dummy load at the frequency I'm measuring at, then I can use this formula here uh, to calculate power. Voltage squared divided by resistance. And the voltage um, needs to be in RMS, root mean squared. It's kind of an average over time of the voltage. Um, in an RF or AC waveform, you've got peak to peak values where you've got a maximum peak of the sine wave and um, uh, a zero crossing point. Well, if you measure the peak to peak values, it depends on time. You know, if you measured it at the right point, you'd measure zero where it's crossing over zero. So to get the actual RMS voltage and calculate the working power, we need to take our peak-to-peak -peak voltage and multiply it by 0.3535, and that gives us an RMS voltage. So um, if I can accurately measure the RF voltage across the dummy load, and if I know the dummy load's precise impedance at the frequency I'm operating at, then I can use this formula to calculate our power with some degree of accuracy. Uh, it's not going to be perfect like you would get with, you know, really high quality lab equipment, but I can get pretty close. So my test setup is going to be this. I'm going to take the output from the 705, 
to a dummy load. And I have an MFJ dummy load, which will be this uh, resistance here. Um, and then I'll hook my scope up directly at the dummy load, and I'll use my scope to measure the peak-to-peak -peak voltage of the RF, calculate the RMS, and then calculate the actual power being dissipated across to that known resistance. And we'll get a fairly close estimate of the actual power coming out of the IC705 when it's set to zero. Let's go do it. So I have my blue VNA, my MFJ dry dummy load, and I am checking the impedance of the dummy load at frequency. And uh, two frequencies I'm going to be using, one is the whisper frequency on 2 meters, which is 14.0965 or somewhere right around there. It's close enough because uh, you can see here that the impedance is pretty flat across that area. This is looking at 14 to 14.2. And uh, at 14.096, I'm seeing 56.7 ohms of impedance. I also measured on uh, 146.52 after having that successful QSO with uh, Ernie. And uh, I measured 45 ohms precisely uh, in the dummy load. So now that I have a known resistance value, I got to get the scope out. All right, we're set up to measure things. I've got the dummy load. I've got the tap directly on the scope here. And I'm not worried about hurting the scope. <laughs> We're definitely at low enough power levels not to worry about that. I've got the scope's probe setting to times one, so it should be a one-to-one -one, um, measurement. Uh, we're AC coupling, and I've got the radio sitting on 146.52. Power is set to zero, zero percent. You can see the graph move up and down there. I'm cranking it all the way down to zero, just where we were when I talked to Ernie. The antenna output from the radio is right in here through the T to the dummy load. All right, so we should be good to make a measurement. Let's key down and see what we see. Okay. And according to this, our peak-to-peak -peak voltage, it's bouncing around a bit. Looks like it's averaging around 5.2. So, got my calculator here on the tablet. Let's, uh, let's figure this out. So 5.2 volts peak-to-peak. -peak. We need the RMS. So I'll take 5.2 times 0.3535. That gives us an RMS voltage of... 1.8382 volts. All right. Uh, so we square that times 1.8382 divided by the resistance, and I measure the resistance at this frequency of 45 ohms, gives us a power of, and I know you can't see that, I'm sure you can't see that. Maybe you can. Uh, 0 0.75 watts. 75 milliwatts. So, 0 0.075 watts. Now, the other frequency that uh, we were interested in was um, on 20 meters, whisper frequency. So, I'll set that here. Mode is ready. So, when I key down the mic, it'll just throw out a solid carrier. And let's key down. Peak to peak voltage bouncing around. Looks like it's 7.2 to 7.34. So an average is going to be somewhere around 7.24. Get the calculator here. 7.24. We need the RMS. So times 0.3535. RMS voltage of 2.55934. 2.55934. I'm writing that down. Okay, so we'll take that and we'll square it times 2.55934 and divide that by the resistance of 56.7 ohms. Gives us an output power of. 0 0.11552418484 watts. So 156 milliwatts. No, that'd be 116. Sorry, 116 milliwatts. So there we go. 
I'll throw all the facts and figures up on the screen. But when the 705 is set to 0% power, uh, it looks like we're getting um, on 2 meters 75 milliwatts and on HF 116 milliwatts. So if you want to operate QRPP, low, low power, ultra low power, with your ICOM 705, set it to zero. And it looks like you're going to get somewhere in the arena of 100 milliwatts out of it. So that's interesting, isn't it? I'm going to have to remember that. And I'm going to have to go try to make some more low, low power contacts with this thing. Hope you found that interesting. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.